Hi, I'm Uwe Nielsen from GM in Denmark. I'm going to present our DC330 finishing line for labels for you. The line is our flagship model. It features a number of unique items. First of all, it is one of the few lines that can run in line from birth, so you can decide if you want to run it in line with a press or you want to run it offline. And now we're going to have a look at the various stations in the machine and I'm going to explain them one by one for you. The first station on the DC330 is the Unwind. The Unwind is a unique design. There is no brake. We're using electrical braking, so you don't have any dust in your machine. After the Unwind, there is a splice table with two easy located air clamps. Then we proceed into the Flexo coder. The Flexo coder can operate as a flood coder, a partial coder, or it can apply glue for a laminate. You can also apply glue for a cold foil, as an example. The unit is uh, tool-free. Uh, you don't need any tools. You can change the tray just by flipping a button and you can pull the tray backwards, insert another tray, reload the tray, and you're ready to go. The same goes for the tools. Once you open the station, you can easily take out the doctor, anilox, and print roller. The Impression depth can be adjusted with two fine scales here at the top of the station. So all in all, an easy to set flexocoder. Located just next to the flexocoder, we have the web guiding system. The guiding system is equipped with an ultrasonic sensor. You can have a line camera as an option. Below the web guiding system, there is a pre-drilled hole for corona system if you need surface treatment. After those modules, we enter the lamination station um, on the machine. The lamination station can be used to apply a laminate, of course, but also for cold foil or holographic effects. As a speciality, the line has an option for in-line lamination or in-register lamination. That means that you can put two webs together with perfect register and you can create a multi-layer label. Multi-layer labels are high value labels that you can profit from in your business. At the end of the machine, we have the operator desk and we have the die cutting cassette. The die cutting cassette in this machine is semi-rotary. That means you're format free. You can run any size of label without changing the heavy die cutting cylinder. You select the plate for your job and you can run the same day. Next to the die cutting station, there is a back scoring unit. The back scoring will allow you to pick up your matrix in an easy way. You can also use this unit to do perforations. Finally, the operator desk has a very easy to use graphical touchscreen. No buttons, but a full graphic layout in your language where you can see how to operate the machine. All aero and diagnostics is also centralized in one screen. Right next to the operator panel, we have the matrix separation station. The matrix separation is controlled with a fine tension control, both for the rewind tension of the actual matrix and what we call the stripping tension. So you have very good control of your labels. Finally, we have the knife box. The knife box can be either a conventional shear cross or razor. You select your type of knife station at the time of order. Finally, we do have an automatic knife box that can read barcode or recall jobs from a database with job optimization and minimum waste in mind. At the output of the machine, we have two rewind spindles. They are both of the splanch type. That means you can easily change your core size. Within a few minutes, you have a different core size on the machine. Located next to the rewind spindle is a tape dispenser, so you can change rapidly. Finally, the machine has dual rewinds as standard that allows you to separate your rolls in an easy way and unload and start a new job fast. If you run a lot of labels, the machine is prepared to run with a turret. We will show you on the next clips how the turret operates on this machine.